Bouldering is a form of climbing without the use of any ropes or harnesses. And so this is my process of what I've learned and how I've developed over six months of learning how to boulder. Before I started, I initially did a baseline test called the 9C test. And this shows how hard you should be able to climb and gives you a point score between one and 40. There are four components to this test, which tests your max finger strength hanging from a two millimeter crimp. Um, I was barely able to do this for even five seconds, um, which gave me one point. It tests on your one rep maximum chin up, uh, which was 140% of my body weight, uh, which gave me five points. It tests your core strength, uh, and I was able to hold an L seat for 15 seconds, which gave me five points as well. And it also tests how long you can hang from a bar. So I was able to do this for one and a half minutes, which gave me three points. This gave me a total of 14 points and gave me a climbing grade of a 7B. So in addition to this, I also wanted to see how many maximum chin-ups I could do before and after. And I was quite happy to be able to get 13 channels before uh, even starting my six months. So the purpose of bouldering involves getting both your hands from the starting holds to the ending holds. And I did the majority of my climbing at Nomads in Sydney. It's a really awesome gym and I highly recommend it if you're looking to get into bouldering. Um, but each gym will usually have different grades based on color. At Nomads, the grades go from blue and yellow as the easiest to orange green, purple, blacks, red, and pinks. Um, and the white climbs are wild cards and generally range in difficulty from orange to black. In the first month, I initially st really struggled uh, on some greens and barely topping any purples and I wasn't really touching any grades higher than that. Pretty quickly I learned that there are different types of holds in climbing. So you got crimps and these are small holds that only really allow enough room for your fingertips. Jugs are generally larger holds and easier to hold and they allow for more room uh, so your hand can wrap over them. Slopers are holds with rounded surfaces and are a bit more difficult to hold onto. You also might hear the term volume, which refers to kind of the giant prism-like structures on the actual wall itself. Some further terminology I learned quite quickly was uh, beta, which refers to specific advice, uh, instruction or direction on how to best complete a climb. Slab climbing refers to a climb on a wall with an angle, so it's less than vertical and flashing something is uh, successfully getting a climb in your first attempt. After around the first month, I started transitioning onto purples and getting some of them. And this is when I first started learning proper technique uh, and not just trying to muscle my way straight up the wall. Some techniques I learned involve matching, which involve using both hands or feet on the same hold. And this helps you reposition your body uh, for the best uh, sequence in your climb. Flagging involves counterbalancing using either your arms or your legs or any of your limbs to really shift your body weight. And this allows you to balance over any holds and also allows you to reposition your body as well. Heel hooking involves placing your heel directly on a hold and it can help you lever yourself over your hips and take weight off your arms even. Toe hooking is very similar to this. Uh, but it's using your toe and generally I found it best if you keep your legs straight. However, toe hooking does create a lot of tension and when you release it, there is a risk that you barn door out as well. One of the more cool and satisfying moves is the concept of a dyno. So this is basically a dynamic move, usually a jump uh, to the next hold. With dinos, the main issue is generally just finding a way to kill your body's momentum after you actually commit to a move. And finally, there's a knee bar, which involves cramming your foot and the top of your knee between two holds. And this actually allows you to take uh, a lot of the weight off your arms. The progression within the three months continued and pretty soon 
Uh, I was able to get all greens and almost was a bit disappointed if I didn't flash them. Purples were also getting sent as well and at this point I was attempting to do some blacks. In the following months, unfortunately, the, the progress definitely slowed. So there was a lot more failed climbs, uh, which took many weeks to get. And because the climbs were getting harder, I started injuring myself when I was being really careless. At one point, I definitely hurt my uh, tendon in my right hand. And this was really tough because I couldn't, uh, I couldn't really climb well for the next two weeks or so. However, the cool thing was, especially with these difficult climbs, was after putting in many attempts, uh, your body and your mind kind of persist through um, failing, and eventually you learn the right sequence and what feels strong in order to actually complete the climb itself. You, you kind of realize that a lot of the climbs were really never a lack of strength, but uh, a mental blockage of being uncertain with a certain, with a particular move. So after this, I started getting more and more blacks and within the last couple months, I was at a point where I was able to get most of the blacks in the gym or the majority of the blacks in the gym. So this climb is a really good example of some of the techniques combined all together in a climb. You initially start off with a toe hook which takes a lot of the weight off your arms. Here you're swinging your body to the volume. This is a dyno out to the higher volume. You can swap your feet here. Notice I'm flagging with my right foot which allows my body to reach for the jug above. This is followed with a right foot heel hook. You then match the jog, bump your left hand higher and match there, bump to the next hold, match again, reposition your body and you've pretty much finished the climb. Unfortunately, any of the reds were a bit too far out of my uh, ability, but I kept trying as well. So with my final baseline test, uh, with the maximum finger strength hold, I could, was able to quite comfortably hold it for 110% of my body weight, which is two points. You know, it was an improvement of one point. With my maximum chin up, I was able to do 160% of my body weight, which is seven points, two, two point improvement. L sit went up to 20 seconds, which was an additional five seconds, which was an improvement of one point. And I was able to hang from a bar for a total of two minutes, which gave me a one point improvement as well. Uh, and that gave me a, a total of 19 points, uh, which is a climbing grade of 7C plus. And that's something that I'm actually quite happy with uh, considering the progress. With my maximum chin up, I was able to get 18 reps, which is almost a 40% improvement. So that's something that I'm quite happy with as well. So as I come up on my uh, six months of climbing, what I've learned is not only the technique itself, but I've gotten better at learning how to read the route and finding better beta itself. I've also gotten over the fear of kind of failing in public, um, especially on, on busy hot climbs with a lot of people. When I first started, I would just generally avoid those climbs. How about falling is, and then you know not being able to climb? do a climb is super necessary to continue to progress in, in bouldering. And finally, uh, the past six months have just been really fun, uh, solving tough physical problems with my friends. Although there were some tough climbs and some, some injuries and um, some setbacks, I honestly don't think that anything really beats just projecting a climb and really, really wanting to, to
to get it and finally getting it. It's quite a good feeling. Overall, um, I am quite happy with the progress that I made and yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's a little recap of my past six months uh, learning how to boulder. So this climb is actually filmed uh, the day before my six month anniversary um, and it's one of my first successful reds. So yeah, enjoy. Don't rush it, don't rush it. Oh. Nice and slow, yeah, you got this. Yes! Hands up. Yeah, you're fine, you're fine. Yes! Sick. Man's fucking got it! I can leave now. You can leave.